Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're going to play Pocket Safe. We're going to be playing the standard game and this game is a lot harder than it looks. We have to survive till the 8th era, we're currently on era number 1. These are our victory points, we're going to get them at the end of each era and at the end of the game and this is our money. You cannot keep the money for until the next turn unless you learn that particular advancement so you don't have to worry about that. These are regions. Each region represents an area and each of these resources will mean that it, that it supports one tribe over here. These are tribes except for desert which doesn't support anything. Every time you have, um, you, uh, the game goes to different phases. It starts by population growth. So every time you have, where you have a person, it will grow by one. And then you can move them around. At the beginning, you just want to move them around so that you can get as many people as possible. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to build a city. In order to build a city, we first need to build a farm because each city must be supported by exactly one farm. In order to build a city or a farm, you need to place your tribes into the region where you want it to happen. And then you pay the tribes to build it. So for farm, you need to pay two tribes to build it. And for city, you need to pay four to build it. All right, now we have drawn our first event. So the first thing is you want to look at the Roman numbers on the card and if any of them match the era that you're in, which currently is one, then that event happens. So we have just drawn a tribal war. Now in the next card we'll, we will draw will tell us where it will happen. That's the red number on the left top will tell us where it happens. So we now know that it's going to happen on region one. Now a really cool trick to note is that there are 16 cards in the first era. And there are always two cards with the same region number on top, which means that we just draw both cards with region number one. That means that region number one is fairly safe because we cannot draw any more cards that will say that an event will happen in region number one. Events are almost always bad, so you never want them. Now, it's not entirely true that region one is safe because some events can spread, but in general, it's a little bit safer than other regions. So if possible, you would want to focus on building there one so we would ideally want to build a city there so i'm going to start by building a farm in region eight just to try to get it re ready but otherwise we're going to try to move our people towards region oh so the problem is i actually can't get to region number one because of this desert because i can't walk through there because it will get destroyed you would first have to so we, we have to build a city elsewhere so that's a little bit unfortunate for us right now but that's okay. In that case, let's just try to focus on region number eight, where I'm going to be attempting to build a city. And I'm going to just spread the rest of my people around. Eventually, there are ways to solve this, but right now we just can't get to that position. So now we have to hope that no bad events happen at region eight. So no events happens at all. We're going to build a city here at region number eight. And this means that I now have a city. Now, I could get a couple of upgrades. I could specifically get slave labor. Uh, which allows me to increase city's AV, but I'm actually instead going to get a mason, which gives me the same effect. In order to do that, I need to have two people in this uh, city with a mountain, because the requirements for this advancement is uh, it's going to be a mountain. You can't see it here yet, but these are different advancements. Now, the city is on level one, which you can see by there being just one token down here. And uh, the level of, and this is called the AV of a city, because I have AV of a city one, I can get one advance. I'm not going to get anything this time because I, I want to wait till I can get the masonry. So I'm going to move one person here and one person from here. So now we get two people here. So this will allow me to get masonry. And I am also, actually, I'm going to get a third person there as well, because once I get the masonry, I'm going to have some people left. And I'm going to spread all of the other tribes around so that I can try to get as many more tribes as possible. Now, nothing bad happens and that's it. So that's good. So now I'm going to advance this by getting Mason, which allows me to increase the level of the city. Now, the next thing I want in terms of, of advancements are horticulture which allows, so, okay, so the thing the next that you want is Cartage. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Cartage, which allows you to, uh, cities can be supported by farms in any other region, which means I can, if I can build a farm, for example, here, I will then be able to build a city here in the desert, which will allow me to traverse through this area. 
so that's what I want to do. So the next thing I need is cartage. For cartage, I need, go over here, uh, two people and a mountain area. So just like Mason, we're going to need to get two people over here, which we can easily do upon the next one. But first, I'm going to advance the city. So for that, I need to decimate two tribes. So we're actually going to do it like this. And we're still going to get more movement. So we're going to leave the two people here. We'll put one extra so that we have one person left after this. And that will get us the cartage. And I'm going to move the other people just around. Got an epidemic at region 2. There's no one there, so nothing happened. Alright, next. What I want to do is I want to get the advancement of cartage. This is great. This now means that I will be able to build a city. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get myself a farm presumably in this in region in region three probably in region three and so I'm gonna have to have two people here so that I can turn it into a farm and then after I turn it into a farm, I can build a city in two. So I, for that, I would need four people here. So I'm going to move two people here. Because each tribe can only move like one set per location. Four people into two so that I can get that city there. And if, if a bad event happens, we're going to be uh, done so. But let's hope that that doesn't happen. And we're going to try to spread the rest of our people around a little bit. So hopefully nothing bad happens and it events two or three. Okay, so we get a famine. Where? At region seven. That doesn't bother me too much. First, I'm going to build a farm here. Next, I'm going to build a city at region two. This is where I'm, So now we have two cities. And now it also means that I can actually move around through this area to region number one. All right, next. We have AVs of city combined to three, so I could get another advancement. So one thing we need to look at is what is the next advancement we would like. So we got cartage and we got masonry. The next thing that's really important is engineering. For this, you need to have a city in an area with a mountain and a forest. So I don't have that at the moment, but I can create a farm either in region six or seven and then build a city in region one. So I think alternatively we could try to get hogwarts culture which allows us to build a forest anywhere. But I actually think that we're better off just trying to build a city in a region 1. So next what I need to do is I need to get two people to region 7 to get a farm and then four people into region 1. So we're gonna, that's going to be our next aim. I will also... I'm going to advance this city and lose two tribes. I think it's fine. We get a sandstorm at region number six. So this made me lose my forest. So this is not good because this means that I can no longer build a farm over here. But that's okay because I can still build the farm in region number seven. Also, I'm actually going to get this advancement for basic tools because it's going to make it cheaper to increase the AV of a city. So that's actually pretty cool. Oh, we lost the people here because there's just a desert and nothing else. So now we can no longer um, like move through that area, which isn't actually that bad for me because I don't really care all that much about that area. So we're fine. What I do care about is building a farm here so I can build a city in position number four. Ooh, visitation is the worst event you can get. If the next event here has this sort of like a symbol of, um, I don't know if I can show it to you, of this, then that's good news for us because it means it's a straight event. Otherwise, it means that we get visited by an enemy, in which case we will probably die or lose a majority. Okay, this was the trade, so we get super lucky. So we're actually going to get some gold. Now, there are some advancements that cost gold, but unfortunately we don't have enough tribes in the right area to actually utilize it. But I can build a farm here, which is what I wanted. So I have a farm in number 7, which now means I can build an extra city in region number 1 once I get enough p 
people. I immediately lost the money because you need to learn to keep money. Uh, it's one of the advancements that you just need to learn. And, and because we don't have that, then we can't really get that benefit. Right now I'm just spreading my people around so that I can get enough people to region number one. So we're going to move two people into region number one and that's it because we can't get enough people there just yet and we're going to have two people in region number two as well. The rest of our people are going to spread around third person here. Now once we get that city, we should also be able to get our next advancement potentially. We have enough space for that so we should be looking at where we want to have our people. So another really cool advancement would be astronomy. If I could get four people into the area with mountain or uh, no, actually what we want is engineering. So we need, th so eventually we'll need three people here. But if I could get four people here, I could also get that uh, masonry effect, which yeah, sure. Let's do that. That advancement, I mean. Okay, nothing bad happens, so we're safe. So now we need to get the advancement of astronomy over here, which is great for us. And we do have enough farms for now, so I'm not going to do anything in terms of people. Now we're going to move one more person, actually two more people here, because we'll turn four of them into a city and we'll have one left. Uh, these two can be supported. This person cannot be supported because there's only one mountain. And we definitely want to move at least one person here into this main area so that we can get growth. Now this is the last card of the first event. And oh, we get an earthquake where? Actually, I'm going to discard this because this is the last time of my first era. So I can use my astronomy to just say no to this. So we're just going to discard this and we'll draw a new one from the new pile. Unfortunately, you can't just like not draw a new one, which would be better. So we're getting it from a new pile, but at least we can like avoid it. Okay, nothing happened, so that's great for us. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to build this city. This is important so that now I'm going to be able to get engineering in this area. So advancement-wise, I can't get it yet, but we will, we will get it soon. So for that, I need three people in this area. And so this will give me engineering. After engineering, we want to either start working on sense of community, which would also mean and even three more people in that area, or we could start working on road building. It's also not terrible because it allows you to move around a little bit better. But I think sense of community, alternatively, another really cool thing is literacy and then potentially medicine because it allows me to lower the effect of some of the really bad stuff but for this we need to have a farm and a forest in the same area which we do not know how to do so i think we'll start with engineering and then we'll do the sense of community so we'll want three people there i will advance this city and get rid of one tribe over here good so i said i need three people now let me just check, we have level 6 with our city, so I could get potentially two advancements here in this city. So if I were to move one more tribe there, so let's do two more tribes there, so that that should put, allow me to do at least, that should allow me to do engineering, and then we would have one more person left there, which would be enough for something that we were just looking at. For road building, which I guess would be useful. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that. Because with the desert in the middle, it's a bit irritating. So, also try to move the rest of our people in a way that they will not get hurt. So that's good. Tribal war where? I think I'm okay with Tribal War. It's not the worst events that you can get. Ooh, in City, in Area 8 is now good. We'll fight against 5, I think. Oh. 
Okay, we lost some people, but it wasn't the worst thing ever. Now I need engineering here. And we could also get... No, we can't get roadblock now. Why? Two, four, six. Let's try why I can't get roadblock here. And also click on a banner of a city and see some information. So we can see that we have a forest and a mountain here. The AV is two. And we have one tribe out of four that we can support. For total AV is six. And for road building, I just need one person, tribe in an area with a forest and a mountain. I have that. Hmm. That is strange to me. I feel like I should be able to get this. Right. Well, advance this city. So we'll get one more here, and hopefully that will allow us to get the uh, the agriculture, whatever it was that we wanted. And I'll try to spread around with my other people. Get a volcano. Volcano is bad, so I'm gonna say no to it, because it can destroy farms. Okay, nothing happens, that's good. Okay, now, can I get, yes, now I can get both horticulture and lit or literacy, but not both. I can also get road building now. Ooh, or sense of community. There are a lot of things we're excited about here. So let's look at the options again. So, literacy would allow me to get medicine, but for medicine you need gold, and gold is difficult if you have small amount of tribes. Sense of community would allow me to get government next. And then diplomacy, which does need gold, but it, it makes trading events a lot less bad. Finally, horticulture would be useful if we lose a forest. This will allow us to sort of save ourselves. And we could get horticulture. No, we can't get both for broken because I can only get one thing. But the medicine is also really exciting because all of these events are really bad. So being able to get them. Yeah, but medicine for that, we need the gold, which we'll have to wait for. Sense of community. Mm, I think I'll go for the sense of community. Because I know how bad the. I know how bad the like visiting event is if you can't make it work. So I think it's just really important to try to avoid that. Do we want to advance a city now? Because it cost me two tribes and I just don't think that we have the, the people for it. So I'm just going to try to sort of spread my people around first. And the next thing that we want is government, for which I need four people at a city with a farm. So that's down here. So let's just try to move our people down, essentially. So we'll, at first we'll just spread them around and then we'll try to move down. Nothing's happening, that's great news. I will again not advance the city just so I can get more people. Okay, so I need two people to go down here and two more people to go down here so that I can get... This will allow me to get... What is it called? This will allow me to get uh, government. I will move one person there and one person there so we can spread around. One like this. And I'll also move some people into this area just in case something bad happens in region 8 so we have region 1 so we can still get some interesting advancement yeah like visitations which as we know are terrible and i can't no i think we might just lost okay but 
On region two. Oh, so both of our cities are essentially destroyed. Sometimes it leaves you a city with a level of one. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, so at least the city didn't get completely destroyed. It does mean that I can't get any good advancement in my city because... Um, because... Where can I get a farm? Oh, there. Okay, I definitely don't want to get a farm there because that would lose my forest, which is very important. I cannot get any more advancement because now my only level of cities is five. So unfortunately, we're going to lose one person here because the city will not support that. Unless, actually, I'm going to advance this city just so I can not lose the tribes. That's important. Okay. Tribe movement. Okay, so we need to go back to having four people here. Uh, we can actually even go to five because we'll take four for the... Wait. And I can't get the advancement, right? I made a mistake. Because... Three, four, five, six. So I can't actually get up to five. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to spread that person there. Yeah, we should be fine on the upkeep. Can it be on region 6, please? Yes. There's no one on region 6, so nothing bad happened. I still can't do anything exciting because I need to advance my cities first. So let's advance this one. And we'll pay one tribe there. And that's it. Okay. There's six people here. We're going to use four for the advancement, so we're good on that. We do, however, so we can move one more person here. I think we do not have enough we cannot build another city because we simply don't have enough farms to support it so what i think we need to do is we need to move interesting we can move another person here i think huh. I, I, I think we need to build a city. We need to get a farm somewhere, but I can't. So actually, I actually do need to learn the horticulture also. But I can't do that yet. I'll have to wait for next one. So we might lose some people on this one because... Well, actually, the epidemic will probably kill some people for us, so we're fine. Uh, because of the fact that uh, we, don't, we don't have farm. So epidemic on region 3... For the size of seven. Definitely would like to go here. Oh, I need to decimate three more tribes. Okay. One more tribe from there. Okay, we're good. So now, advancement wise, I need government. This is what we said we wanted. Oh, but horticulture. I can get government, so I can handle the visitations, but we do have some time for that right now because we can avoid with astronomy the next bad event. Alternatively, I can try to get horticulture and then immediately build a forest because I have six people here, so I can build a forest in the city. So that's actually better. So let's get horticulture from here. I'll build a forest here. And that now means that I could build another farm there. Which means I can build one more city somewhere. I will also advance this city and pay these two tribes. No. Oh. Uh, can I go back? Yes. So I, what I forgot to do is do the tribe movement. So thankfully I, could, I, I was allowed to go back. I wasn't sure if I would be, but I was, so that's good. We should have built a city at region 6 because now region 6 is stuck and we can't do anything there. On the other hand, there is a certain benefit, great nothing happened, to having a space that's always empty because some events spread around and if there's nothing happening in that region, it might stop the spreading. For example, if there's like a tribe war and there's no one there, you can't really do a tribe war this way. 
So our total level of our cities is eight. And we actually have four farms, so we could build another city if we wanted to. But like I said, the next thing that we're looking for advancement wise is still government. So we need four people at a place with a farm. So four people down here. We could also get... The road building would be useful because it's easier for me to move around. Because because I have enough advancement, I will actually take this. This will allow me to move in a cooler way. Do we also want to advance the city? No. Well, actually, yes, because we have six advancements. So if I don't advance the city, I can get another advancement. But it also costs me two people. So actually, I'm actually not going to do that. I think I need more people right now. So we're going to get four people here again, just to get that government uh, bonus. We'll get one person there, one person here, and one person there. So we're now fully spread around. Anarchy where? I don't know how bad Anarchy is, so I don't think I'm going to discard it. Okay, so this, this costs me a lot in this city, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened to me. I guess I'll straight up go back to advancing it, just because I can. So we're back to trying to get to four people here so that I can get that government bonus. And I will move my other people sort of around so that we have one person everywhere. Except for the desert area, which as always we do not care about. Nothing happens, good. Oh, I can't advance because... Oh, I'm still only at level 6, so I have to advance the city. Okay, my, my mistake, I didn't realize that. That's okay. Now, at this point, it's important. I cannot advance my cities anymore. In order to advance my cities more, I would need to get architecture, for which I need six gold. Oof, that's pretty rough. That's very rough. Is there any other way to do that? I don't think so. So in order to get gold, you need to send out expeditions, but you need to have at least size seven to get the amount of gold. And on top of that, so I would need to first get coinage in order to be able to even think about it. For this, I only need three gold and two people in an area of a mountain. So I need to get eight people somewhere so I can send them on an expedition. So I think we're just going to bank up some people in this region. And we'll send them on an expedition. And we got to remember that for coinage, we need to keep two people there. Now the question is, yes, I will be able to do that because I only have eight advancements. So that's good. So it is allow something that I'm allowed to do, which is good news. But yeah. Famine. Please let it not be at area 8. At area 6. That's fine. Nothing happened there. Okay. Now I'm going to need to go for an expedition. I need to have at least two people left. And in total I have eight people. So I, oh, so that means I can only send... Wait, two people left at an area with a mountain. So these guys have it too. So I'm going to send all eight of these here. And we're going to hope. Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get three gold from this. I think I might have miscalculated. That might not be enough. I cannot this region go for expedition. Oh, because I didn't learn how to do sea expeditions? Oh man. Well, okay. I guess we'll have to first allow sea expeditions. They're a bit better on the terms of the money that you can get. But I did not realize that. This also means that I think I need to get a city. Another city, otherwise I won't be able to uh, get the next advancement. So I need a city. So we're going to send four people here into this desert tribe in the middle. So that I can build a city there. 
I also would like a lot of people here so in, in the city eight so I can get that expedition going. Okay. And we have four people in this region, which will be enough for a city, because we have one, two, three, four farms, so we should be good. So unless something really bad happens, we should be fine. Volcano's really bad. So I'm gonna say no. Earthquake isn't much better. No! At the place where we have so many people. But we didn't lose them all. I need to decimate eight tribes. So I guess we'll destroy all of them in this main area. Maybe the volcano would have been better, honestly, don't know. I still want to get that uh, city here, so I'm just going to do it. Unfortunately, we did lose a lot of people. Two, three, six, nine. Which is fine. So I'm actually... I mean, yes, actually we can advance the city because it only costs one tribe, so it's not doesn't mean that we'll get any less of a population growth. Now, the thing that I was trying to get, I completely forgot, was... I'm still trying to get government. No, 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 I need to get coinage first so that I can get money. I mean, I could have gotten government first, though. Let, let me just get government first. So, for, because that's easy, there's just four people in a farm, so I just need one person there and I can get government immediately. And then we'll just, like, spread around with the rest of our people. Because we get four, four and six, so we, we have ten. Yeah, so we can get, we should easily be able to get a uh, government. No, I should have gotten this one turn before. No, we're gonna get attacked! Okay. How bad is it? And remember, we lost a lot of tribes. Well, strength 8. I didn't fully destroy the city, which is good. Again, can get this advancement because we just don't have the people right now. So let's advance this by paying one tribe there. And as always, we just need to spread around because now we're out of people. I still need... No, I can't get the government anyway because it's four, six... No, I can't get it next turn. Okay, so we're fine on that. So we'll just spread around with the rest of our people. I could have one person in the inside there. Anarchy, I'll let it happen. No! Always at the city where it matters to me. Like, come on. Population growth, okay. So again, two more there so we can get that government. Spread around with everybody else. And we should be good. Sandstorm. I'll let a sandstorm happen. And region number five. We still have enough farms, that's good. And four, I have nine total. Three, six, nine. Okay, I also have nine there. So there's nothing else we can do. We'll advance this city. So now we should, unless we lose again, unless we like an event makes us lose some people, we should be good. Uh, this is fine. You cannot handle this many tribes, and the rest of you are fine. Everything is okay. That typically only costs like uh, tribes in that city, so I don't think it's. Oh, oh, okay. Well, if it's this big of an epidemic, then I don't even have that many like. 
regions to go through. Oh, that cost me cities too? This just goes everywhere. You lost almost all of our people. And one city, which is very irritating. So now we ran out of tribes, so essentially we are going to be getting slowly new tribes. Superstition don't know what that does, so we're gonna just keep it. Nothing bad is happening. Okay, we've gotten to region 5, which is pretty good, I must say. Like, we're pretty far in the game. We did lose a lot of people, but because of the fact how we can spread around, I'm hoping that it will allow us to sort of survive. I really need to get that visitation thing going if possible i'm not gonna advance a city yet i think i just need more people for the beginning at least uh, we will uh, discard bandits because similarly to the visitation they can just give you a lot of new people oh visitations okay well Okay, so we are screwed. <laughs> no! I'm in the one place where I have my beautiful city. Come on. Well, the good news is that they didn't spread around. The bad news is... I now need to move four people... I well okay how about we get a city at 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 tribe three and another city at tribe uh, at, at region two hopefully at least one of those will survive sandstorm at region four well there's nothing there All right, city there, and a city there, okay. You can advance this city just by killing one tribe, so that's worth it. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six total. So that's not great in terms of number of cities that we have. I have to take the visitation, because if I don't, there's just going to be something even worse happening. Oh, well, I shouldn't have taken that, but whatever. It's 16 strength. That's insane. City's gone. This city survives, though. That's good. The problem is I do need a city at position... Well, actually, no. I have a city that... Yeah, I, I need a city that is all three of these. So I do need to get a city at position eight. Which is a bit of a problem. So right now, we're just going to need to have to spread out. Uh, actually, I, 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 will, I will decimate one tribe there. Uh, I, I need to... I, I think we need to spread out and then in the following turn, we will try to get the city at position 8. Tribal war is fine because we don't ha just have people so it should be okay. So we lost the people but it's not like that bad. I'll advance the city because at this point we'll just get three starting tribes so it doesn't even matter. Anarchy, I think is... I'm not quite sure what Anarchy does. Nothing bad seemed to have happened. Uh, we are not going to advance because we just need... We, we need people. So one person there, one person there, one person here. I really need to get that city at 8. Famine. Uh, 
I'll let it happen. No, I didn't. Oh, man. I thought I was clicking. I'll let it happen. And I clicked instead that I'm taking visitation. So we're dead again. No, that's not what I meant. Darn it. A lot of misclicking here. I'm not entirely sure what the rules are on like when it completely destroys the city and when it does. Now we only need to survive for a little while till we can get to the final turn, so it's not that bad. But it's just... I think I absolutely need another city. So I'm not going to advance just because these events are just bad. Okay, so we can get two more people here, so we're going to be able to build a city at 8. And with the rest of my people, I'm just going to spread around as much as I can. Corruption lowers AVs of a city, which might... But if we get it in a position where there is no... I, I, I'll let it happen. We don't have a... Oh, so I thought what was going to happen that it, because it was a region four, it was going to, it was going to just, hmm, what am I trying to say? That it was, nothing's going to happen, but actually it took four EV total among our cities. Now the good thing is we can build a city here because we prepped for that, so we're not dead yet. But we cannot have an event happening at eight next turn, otherwise we're going to be done though. I can advance this city. No, I don't want to. I need, I need, I need more people. So I need to immediately build another city somewhere else or up on the next turn. Otherwise, we're going to be in a very dangerous situation. So we're going to get four people here and we're going to spread these two. So we're going to get another in region three. We're going to get another thing. Now, an, a, another tip that I have is we should be marking because it's the last few turns, we should be marking which numbers of these are happening. Because that means that at the red position, we can no longer have a bad event. Now, because this is the last era, we just need to survive the last 10 turns. This is useful for us because it means we know that nothing bad will happen in region 2. But that's not where I want to build a city. Anyway, now at this point, I'm also going to try to advance my cities if I can. For one simple reason, because sometimes when the enemy attacks, I still don't know what the exact rule for this are. It doesn't completely destroy the city. And in order to win, you just need to have a city left. Uprising. At four is safe. Once. So I think we can let this happen. <laughs> I feel like they're worst events later. Also, it does allow me... Okay, at 2 we have an uprising, so that does nothing. So that was a really good move. Oh, I didn't realize we were going to lose one there. My apologies. Because it only has one farm, so that, that was a slight mistake on me. On my side. We're going to pass on visitations because we know how bad they are. So this actually would have been a good visitation because that would have been a trade, but... Okay, Superstition. I don't quite remember. Uh, what did Superstition do? Oh, it makes you lose cards. So that's good, because that means we won earlier. So we won. No, no, no! Oh, one more. I thought we were only at 8. We were just at 7. So one more era. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So Superstition is great. We always want to go through Superstition, because that allows you to get to the end faster. So that's actually one of the few beneficial things that we, we could we could get for us. Okay. As always we just try to spread around. I do think we need at least like one more city or something somewhere because we're in trouble. <sighs> we're gonna pass in the way station. So I, I don't think we can survive it. Nothing. That's good. That's good. Love some superstitions, people. Uh, city to advance. We're not going to advance. We're just going to try to get more people. I could try to get... 
No, you know what? Let's let's wait. This is just a desert, so we gotta be a little bit careful about our movements. We will try to move like this, like that. We're gonna try to just get um, sort of spread around a bit. Okay, and not a nothing's happening moment. That's great. That means that now we can definitely advance a city. We'll advance this one. So you now two cities at level three. I would love a third city just to make sure we can survive. So what I'm thinking, what would be a good place? I'm thinking maybe number two. Okay, we should have we should have moved to number one. No, let's let's do number two then. Let's we'll just hope for the best. I'll try to get a city at number two because we have enough farms, so we should be able to handle that. Earthquakes, that's bad. Where? At four, there's nothing there. Now, thankfully, there is no fault line there. It's only created now, so it doesn't uh, like. Otherwise, it would spread out more between other cities, but we did lose our people. So, unfortunately, not much we can do there in terms of... And I, okay, but we only need to survive a few turns, I think. Three, okay. We're gonna get... I want another city. We're gonna try to get two people there. Two people there to get... No! Can I can I unclick this? Some mistake, yes. Uh, two people there and two people there. So in, in in region number five, we'll try to get a city. We'll see if that works. Okay. And let's get a city. So three, five, eight, we have a city, and we only need to survive two more turns. Okay, let's just advance this because we can. Come on, come on. Civil War, okay. No, at Region 8, come on, game. Yes! Yes! We won! This game is so hard, people, and we made it. Oh my god. You are victorious in the standard game. I'm so excited, guys. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, write down in the comments. You can click on the right towards some other games that are playing this city. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.